Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting this adorable ghost cuddle buddy, so stay tuned. For a list of materials and stitches used to make this little guy, please check the description box below, as well as a link for my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you, and also placed a link for the PDF printable version if you prefer to work from a printed pattern. This works up very quickly, so let's get started. To begin, we're going to use a size G or 6 millimeter crochet hook and some regular worsted weight yarn in white. We're going to chain 13. For row one, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across, so that will be 12 stitches total. After the last stitch, we're going to chain one and turn the work around. For row two, we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch, then single crochet in the next 10 stitches. Then we'll do two single crochet in the last stitch, so 14 stitches total. Chain one and turn the work around. For row three, we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch, then single crochet in the next 12 stitches. And we'll do two single crochet in the last stitch, which gives us 16 stitches for row three. Chain one and turn the work around. Continuing in the same fashion, we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch on row four, then single crochet in the next 14 stitches, followed by two single crochet in the last stitch, which gives us 18 stitches total for row four. We'll then chain one and turn for our final row of increasing, row five. We'll do two single crochet in the first stitch, followed by 16 single crochet in the next 16 stitches, then two single crochet in that last stitch, chain one and turn, which gives us a total of 20 stitches for row five. We'll then chain one and turn the work around. Now for rows six through 20, so that we get this nice boxy shape in the center, we're going to single crochet in each stitch across, chain one and turn, rows six through 20. I like to use stitch markers in the first stitch of each row. It just helps me count how many rows I've done more easily. Now that we've finished row 20, we're going to go in for our final row, row 21. We're going to half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, 
and half double crochet. And we're gonna repeat this all the way down to get these nice ridges. So half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, double crochet, and half double crochet. And we'll repeat this two more times till we get to the end of this row. At the end of this row, we're going to chain one and we're going to cut the yarn with a relatively short tail and pull it through that last chain stitch to tie it off. Now we have two equal sides of our little ghost cuddle buddy pattern. Now for the fun part, you're going to use black yarn and your yarn needle to add a cute little face to one of the sides. I like to go in on the eyes first and just make three little stitches, well, three points. So you come up through one side, go down through the center, and then I go up through the bottom and back through that center to make a little eye. Once I have the eye how I like it, I'll turn it over and very gently tie it off so that you don't see a lot of black yarn through once you add the stuffing. And I say gently so that you don't pull those stitches on the front of the eye too tight. To make sure that the other eye is equally spaced, I'll count in how many stitches from the other side on the same row I started and begin the, eye, the second eye over there, as well as count over for the top and that last stitch. Aren't the eyes just so adorable? For the mouth, we're basically doing an upside down eye. So it's the same shape with those same three points. Instead, we'll start with two highs and one low equally spaced between the eyes.
join the front and backs together, we're going to do a row of single crochet going through the same stitches on each side of the pattern. I like to start in the top left corner and work my way down the left side, then the bottom, and then the right side, stopping before closing the top in order to add our stuffing. The only exception for doing single crochet on this join is that I did do a slip stitch at the very center of those ridges on the bottom just to give it a little more definition for the curves at the bottom of the ghost to make him look flowy. So we'll do one slip stitch at the half double crochet marks from the previous row. In order to add our stuffing, I'm going to pull this last stitch out a little bit and put a stitch marker in just so that I don't lose my place. And then I'm going to add our stuffing to the desired fullness. The goal with the stuffing is just so that you don't see through the stitches of the ghost. So you don't want it to be completely overfilled. Once we've added enough stuffing, we'll do the last bit of closing off the top portion and we'll be done with the body and moving on to the arms. For the arms, we're going to single crochet six stitches into a magic circle and then we're going to pull the magic circle tight. For some reason, these magic st circle stitches are super slippery and I always end up dropping them multiple times. For the second round, we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat that till the end of this round. So we'll have nine stitches total in this round. I like to use my stitch marker in the first stitch of each round so I know when I get back to where I started on that round.
for rows three and four we're just gonna single crochet in each stitch around so that'll be nine stitches per row Once we've finished row four, we're gonna remove the stitch marker and slip stitch into the next stitch, followed by a chain one, and then we're gonna tie off with a long tail and pull that through the chain one stitch, and we have our little arm. Here I'm using what's left of the original tail from where we started and stuffing that inside as stuffing. You're welcome to use stuffing instead and trim the tail off. I just didn't want to be wasteful. Now I'm going to go in with my handy dandy yarn needle and stitch the opening in the arm closed. And now it's ready to be stitched on to our ghost. If you enjoyed this cuddle buddy pattern, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss my next project. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Thank you.